Well, in a classic Gingrich way, he's uh, broadcasting, signaling that he's going to call it quits, but without immediately calling it quits. He doesn't really totally want to leave the stage. Even when he does, he's going to then go up, evidently sit down with Mitt Romney, and then go out on the trail with Mitt Romney, which I'm sure for Romney will be an asset. Gingrich brings a lot to every performance. And all of us political reporters, I mean, there's a lot of mourning uh, out here in political land because losing Gingrich from the campaign trail is just losing a lot. He was the funniest person to travel with. He brought so many funny moments to the last year, so many weird ups and downs. He was a true survivor. And, you know, all of his strengths were, in the, the, were the same things that doomed him in the end because he lacked all discipline. So tell, give us your favorite moment um, from, from the campaign as you've been following him. And I know, I know you, you love covering politics, but uh, of, of all the things he said or did, what really uh, float your boat? Well, I mean, just the many things that he went all the time to zoos. He loved going to zoos. He's a big animal person. I mean, the other day he got bit by a penguin. I mean, who else, uh, you know, gets bit by a penguin? He went into Florida with a huge head of steam uh, after his win in South Carolina. And then in the first debate, and there was some uh, debate even within the Romney campaign about whether they even wanted to debate uh, stand on a stage anymore with Newt Gingrich because of all of his strengths and then he started talking about moon colonies and when people talked about why would you want to be talking about moon colonies right now he doubled down on the whole idea of moon colonies and wouldn't give it up it was a classic Newt Gingrich moment and there were just so many of those so um, one of the things in one of our stories today um, it says Mr. Mr. Romney Mitt Romney says um, to Mr. Gingrich if you're going to suspend your campaign I want you to come help me now if he's going to talk about moon colonies and get bitten by animals at the zoo how is that going to help Mitt Romney <laughs> I would assume and this is a, a big assumption that the Romney campaign which is very disciplined very kind of corporate campaign would try to impose a little bit of their legendary discipline on Newt Gingrich. But you bring up a good point. I mean, having him on stage with you, it's a little like John McCain. You never quite know what's going to be said. He's a combustible, sometimes unpredictable person. But, you know, he bring, people like him. He's a magnetic person, and everybody knows who uh, Newt Gingrich is. And he's an idea guy that will you know, give a little pizzazz to the Romney campaign in, in his own way. He, he certainly has, he has pizzazz. Is this a sort of warm up for him being a vice presidential candidate, do you think? No, there's no way that he would be a vice presidential candidate. He, you know, the one thing that Romney will distinctly not do is pick anybody that would outshine him in any way or that wouldn't have his same kind of very kind of uh, button down corporate discipline uh, and reliability. That's going to be an absolute certainty. He's not going to go the route of a Newt Gingrich. So, no, so what I'm hearing you say, Neil, is no pizzazz on the Romney ticket. Maybe pizzazz in the campaign with a, with a, with a Newt Gingrich, but, but not on the actual ticket itself. You know, they are running a campaign that's going to be all about competence, and that is the chief word and, and the kind of overriding logic of their campaign and that's why everybody at least at the moment and we have a long ways to go thinks that Rob Portman from Ohio who is all competence and very little pizzazz is the likeliest person to be the vice president. Okay, vice president well, we, we, we shall see on that one. Now, okay, so now it's down in the Republican race, it's down to Mitt Romney and Ron Paul. On our very own campaign journal here at the Wall Street Journal, uh, Ron Paul said um, to us, he said uh, he will stay in this race till the convention. Do, uh, why would he want to do that and do you think he'll stick to that? I do think he will stick to that more or less. I mean, it's very, very hard to get into the whys and wherefores of Ron Paul. He is just an unusual, very you know, disciplined, very stubborn politician. He's now kind of uh, downgraded his campaign to a very low level. He doesn't make a lot of appearances. He'll continue to do what he's doing. You know, already the RNC has moved over. This is totally a done deal when it comes to the Republican Party. Uh, Mitt Romney is now, you know, his people are opening offices within the Republican National Committee. They're basically starting to join at the hip. The whole idea that there's still a race out there anymore is pretty much of a fiction, even though, of course, we know that Mitt Romney doesn't have the delegates he needs yet, and he won't for weeks or months even, and Ron Paul is still in the race, but it's really a technicality at, that, at this point.